people travel. Please. Uh, oh, someone. Hello, my name is Victoria Rose. Welcome. I'm gonna give you a tour, but first, I'm gonna make some tea. Let's just double it up just to be on the safe side. I just found this tea in here. I don't know how long it's been in there, but I just need a little caffeine. And I don't want to go out, so I'm just gonna. That's get all the caffeine out, and then I'm gonna put some pineapple juice. In. We make our own way here. It's dark in here, but this is what you can get in Cairo, Egypt on a budget with views of the pyramid. So this is what I found and I want to share it with you. One second, hold on. We don't do fancy things here, but we can't afford that. <laughs> I've been in Egypt for a few weeks now. Um, I was in Dahab for a long time and I showed you the apartment there. Really nice. Cairo's a little different. This whole apartment, you get the whole apartment, is $30 per night. That's USD dollars. You can get cheaper places in Cairo, but I wanted a place, because I was only gonna be here a couple days with views of the pyramid. You can get much cheaper places, but if you want views of the pyramid, uh, and you want budget views of the pyramid, <laughs> then I'll show you what you can get. And this is my unbiased review. You know I like to do little accommodation tours, so um, I just like to show you how it really is, and I always appreciate every place I stay at, whether it's good, bad, or the other. It's just interesting to me. So let's just start. This isn't gonna be a long video. This is a small apartment. So you come in, you walk in, and let's turn the lights. So you have the fridge on this side, and then you have this mirror. Hello. Right here, I have some things that I got. This is a gift from my friend Layla. And this is some Egyptian vanilla perfume. That's that. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, you got lots of flip flops apparently. I don't know if people left those here or if those are there to use, but I'm not using them. <laughs> so you got your fridge here, nice. I'm going a little backwards here, but I'm going to show you the bathroom. So this is the bathroom, come on in. This is all, you know, one, I guess like a studio apartment. Not too bad, not too bad. I got some mirrors. Ah. This window out here. Bathroom views. We'll shut that because it's really loud. It's so loud out there. Got the hot water up there. I don't know, we only got one little towel. I don't know if that's, I don't need more. It's pretty dry here, but get one towel. So that's the bathroom. This, this area is really close to, this is in Giza. It's really close to the pyramids. You could probably walk or at least get transportation there really easily. That's why we chose it. Um, from the airport, it is um, an hour to two hour drive from the airport. And taxis here are super cheap. So getting from the airport to here, um, if you get a taxi at the airport, it's like equivalent to $25 but that's pretty expensive. You can get an Uber for like 12 bucks from the airport, or you can um, actually, the host will pick you up from here for $20. So you have a lot of options to get tea from the airport to here, but the, the host is very, very good here and he has helped us with everything. Uh, even getting a PCR test. So that was really kind of him. Um, I think the biggest perk of this place besides the pyramid views is the host. Um, so we have this wall art. And then we have two beds. 
This isn't gonna be fancy because you get what you pay for. This is budget, okay? Budget and uh, semi-aesthetic, but budget nonetheless. So this, you know, this isn't like some sort of fan, you know like how people have this super cool fancy apartment tours, this is not that. But this is everything that you would need, even if the electricity and the whole area goes out for a few hours or the water turns off for a little bit, that did happen. But it's okay because, I don't know, for me it's like, eh, when you're traveling you don't have control of much, it is what it is. And those minor inconveniences are just like, it's gonna happen. Like, also, this is really nice, you get your own washer. Usually you don't get your own washer in Airbnbs, so that's great. And you get a fan if you want. You can mop. <laughs> but you also get the detergent and cleaning supplies. There's a TV, I haven't turned it on. I really don't watch TV anywhere that I go. So the beds are, they're comfortable enough. I was so exhausted. So me and Layla, Layla's up here. Layla's gone, Layla's gone. I'm here by myself. Solo female travel. <laughs> I haven't even left the house today. The apartment, the ports, whoopsies. Also the host gave me an adapter because I don't come prepared ever. You think I would learn. It's been a long time, it's been years. You'd think I would learn. I'm gonna get one in the next country. But that's the, what those look like. Beds. Motherfucking AC! AC, yes! Being outside the whole day, in the hot sun here in 100 degree weather with like hardly any wind, it's a lot. Uh, I guess it's a rave now. I don't know why that's blinking like that. Should the, there's a random blue light above my bed. Partay! Ooh, fancy! Fancy! Look, that just changes the whole mood. So this is the kitchen. You get your whole own kitchen. You can make things. I'm only staying here a couple days. I'm not gonna use most of this stuff, but they have pots and pans, you know, like Airbnbs tend to do. Get that. You get this big toaster. You get a kettle, which I did use. It works, cool. Microwave. Um, you don't get that thing though. <laughs> so, did you get a sink with water? Nice. <laughs> My tea, I found in the cupboard. I found some tea in here. Black tea. Um, what else we got? I got some plates up there. I don't even know what's in here. It's, I don't really need this stuff, but, oh, a box, a mysterious box. Dun, dun <gasps> what's in this box? For me, these types of places are just great, just fine, um, as long as there's good lighting and maybe a view, or it, as long as it's in, if it's in a good area, like walking distance somewhere. Going out here is very stressful for me. Like I feel so exposed. I feel like walking out like the, like is a stage and the whole world can see me and I look the way that I do. So uh, this is the, the views of the pyramid. Da -da, da -da. Whoa, a pyramid, we're literally, a, we're literally next to, we got this one of the seven wonders of the world right outside our window. Okay, $30 a night, seven, one, seven wonder of the world. And I know for a fact that people down there are staring and can see me, I'm really ashamed and embarrassed, but. I'm just not gonna look. That's my motto, just don't look. Look. Look at this though, it's a pyramid. It's a pyramid. Oh fuck, someone's, fuck. Gotta get it, oh fuck, I'm so, I'm so scared. Someone was saying hello down there. I'm so embarrassed. I can't go up there. It's so, it's so weird, okay? It's so weird. Especially being by myself, I'm like, and the people in the, in the carriages and everything's finally stops, so the dogs bark the entire night. And um, yeah, lots of honking and cars, and it's actually being pretty quiet out right now, so that's good. So that is a complete tour of what you can get for 30 dollars a night in Cairo, Egypt. There's other options too. This is just one that I chose that was best for us. So thank you for coming with me to Cairo. It's been a pleasure. It's been great. It's been enlightening. I've learned a lot. I've been completely overwhelmed. Stay extraterrestrial. I hope that I gave you some insight on what accommodation like is like in Egypt. I'll see you in the next video. Where am I going next? 
don't know. It's a surprise. But let's go there together. Okay. Bye. I love you.